Kello. I am happy to share our work on social creativity using Cubus, a virtual sandbox to stimulate creativity in children. My name is Patricia Alves Oliveira, and this work was conducted in collaboration with my colleagues. No matter in what situation we are in our lives, creativity is always present. For example, when we generate new ideas, when we solve a problem, in insight moments where concepts are combined almost in a magic way, all of this is creativity. Creativity is an ability that can be stimulated, just like a muscle, but in our brain, as a process, as something that we do over time and we become better at it. Over the years, creativity has been gaining importance not only in our professional lives, but also during development and even in learning. Systems and tools that can potentiate and nurture our creativity have been developed. However, most of the systems developed are intended to be for individual use, not being designed for group interactions. In educational contexts, systems can be cumbersome for teachers to use as they need to learn how the system functions and manage it. This is on top of the already overwhelming schedule of a teacher. Contextually, there is a lack of creative spaces in the school, specifically in the classroom. If we think of classrooms of today, or even if we remember our own classrooms, they generally had tables and chairs where we needed to sit for a long period of time. With this work, we want to contribute to a more accessible environment for children to engage in creative practices and accommodate for group play. We introduce Cubus. Cubus consists of a virtual environment that can be easily accessed using an iPad or tablet and enables children to build stories. Children can use cube agents present in Cubus as their characters. These non-humanoid agents are emotionally expressive. The cubic characters of Cubus promote the emergence of new storylines as they act on their own and shape the story created by children in many different ways. Cubus can be used by small groups of children fostering social creativity. Cubus is intended to foster social storytelling experiences, which means children are learning creative skills through play and together with each other. In the demo video that will follow, I will cover the main functionalities of Cubus. So this is how the environment of Cubus looks like. Some features are related to the scenario where the story plays out, and children can choose several scenarios with different topologies for, dif the, for different story situations. They can also select different colors for both the scenario and the environment. For example, here, they can select from a palette of colors. To capture the story, children take snapshots of the entire scene, just like that, and they are stored. It is also possible to create intertitle screens that contain a message. Children can create different actors who are these cubes and give them a name. In addition, they can also decide if the character will be visible or not in the story. So characters can appear and disappear throughout the story. The virtual agents that act as autonomous characters in the story are one of the most innovative parts of this work as they are designed to be the stimuli that would foster creativity in children during the process of storytelling. To avoid the uncanny valley effect, especially concerning artificial emotion expression, the design of these characters revolved around known humanoid shapes. The format of characters has several advantage points namely avoiding stereotyped ideas about gender, role, and behaviors, and leaving the storytelling more open to children's ideas. Additionally, it is well known from previous research that humans can create complex stories with minimal abstract shapes, such as triangles, rectangles, and this supports our design. The colors of each character that express each emotion followed studies about color emotion association models and were inspired in the filmmaking through the Pixar movie Inside Out. We have chosen this movie as an inspiration as Paul Ekman was a scientific consultant for the design and creation of the movie characters whose role is to represent emotions. For example, anger is represented as red and joy as yellow. The design of virtual agents followed Disney animation principles to provide the illusion of life of the characters. 
From the 12 established animation principles, we have chosen four that could be transferred to our characters. In the image, you can see a representation of this. So for example, here, when a character stops doing something, it does not just stop abruptly because that causes a natural feeling. More details on the animation principles can be found in the paper. In the following video, you can see the animation of the characters in their different emotions. The color of happiness is yellow. Characters featuring happiness express fast and expansive movements, such as jumping or dancing. These animations resemble positive and playful actions, such as spinning, jumping, inspired as a celebration. The color of sadness is blue. Characters featuring sadness express slow and contained movements, such as appearing contracted in their own head or hanging low, giving the impression of being looking at the floor. This character can whimper or mimic crying. The color of disgust is green. Characters featuring disgust appear as looking away and avoiding contact. This effect was emulated by having the character retracting and turning away, giving the impression that it cannot look at a disgusting stimulus. The color of fear is pink. Characters featuring fear quickly retract, crunch, and hide. While crunching, the characters start twitching and shaking in fear. The color of anger is red. Characters featuring anger convey an aggressive movement. They stretch their bodies and mimic an inflated chest while leaning forward and keeping the tension in the character's body. Characters express their emotions more intensely according to the distance they have from each other, which is called proxemics. This was developed to create the behavior of the characters more complex in terms of their emotional expression. So if a character is close to another, they have a stronger emotional expression than if they are further away from each other. We conducted an experimental study to evaluate the success of Cubus in stimulating creativity in children. Our research question was the following. Can the interaction between children and the autonomous emotionally expressive virtual characters present in our digital tool stimulate social creativity during a storytelling activity? To answer this question, we conceive two study conditions. In the experimental condition, small groups of children created a story using cubas featuring autonomous and emotionally expressive characters. In the control condition, small groups of children created a story as well, but in this case, the characters did not display any behavior and any emotion. A total of 21 children participated in the final evaluation of the system. Children ages ranged from seven to nine years old. The study was performed in a classroom of a school and children performed the task in pairs chosen by their school teacher. So each session consisted of two children in a total of 10 sessions. Each session lasted approximately between one hour and one hour and a half. The difference in the length of the session is attributed to the time that children took to create their stories, which was not restricted. We evaluated the creativity of children in three different ways. We used the Test for Creative Thinking Drawing Production, or TCTDP, to analyze the pre and post test levels of creativity in children. This test is a drawing test where they are invited to finish a drawing that was incomplete. The creative process was evaluated using a deductive content analysis and inter-rater reliability. We use the verbal recordings collected during the study for this analysis. The creative product or the final stories of children were evaluated using the consensual assessment technique or CAT which relies on ratings given by a panel of independent external judges, experts in the topic. We recruited experts of cinema and animation, including movie directors, producers, animators, and college teachers as the judges for the movies that children created. Results show that there were no significant differences when we compare the results of the TCTDP in the pre and the post test. We also did not find significant results in the judges' evaluations of the stories. Significant results only emerged in the creative process of children. In this graph, you can see that in key stages of the story creation, children in the control condition generated more ideas, which is called fluency, compared to the experimental condition. We also found that the ideas generated towards certain key elements of the story were more original in the experimental condition compared to the control. So although less ideas were generated in the experimental condition, 
they were more original or more rare. These results show that independently of the group and during the climax stage of the story, children generated more ideas for the scenario, action, and characters. This result can serve to inspire modeling of idea generation in storytelling of children. Now I am going to show two stories created by children using the Cubus environment. You will first see a story created as part of the experimental condition where the characters of Cubus were emotionally expressive. The second story is in the control condition where the characters of Cubus does not display any behavior. Olá, Fred! Olá! Quer vir à minha casa dormir? Pode ser! Para onde é que é? É ao fundo da rua. Ok, vamos lá. Que gira! A tua, a tua cama é para a direita. Obrigada! Boa noite! Boa noite! Sei lá. Olá. Olá. Ai, credo, já ouvimos. Quem és tu? Sou Chupa Chupa. Ah, muito bem. Quem é aquilo? Eu não faço ideia. Eu, eu, eu sou o, 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 o Marshmallow. Eu sou o caramelo do sim. Ah, só me apetece comer-vos. Ai, não, não, que eu sou muito frágil. Ah, o que é que se passa com eles? Estão a ficar maus. Vou te matar. Ah, anda, come este. Que é o mais mau. Yeah, conseguimos, conseguimos. Olha, foi só um sonho. Vou, apanho, vou acordar o Fred. Acorda, Fred! The second movie is called A Trip to the Forest and is an example of a movie created with a condition without the autonomous characters. O passeio à floresta. Era uma vez uma menina chamada Mariana que foi passear junta com a sua avó, Joana, na floresta. Só que, entretanto, elas começaram a ouvir um barulho. Quando elas olharam para trás, viram que era uma raposa e assustaram-se. Ah! Elas foram encolhendo e encolhendo, porque sempre que elas se assustam, encolhem. A avó sentiu um puxão e viu que era a raposa a tirar-lhe o cesto de comida. Elas olharam para trás e tentaram andar. Só que, passados um pouco, elas olharam e viram que ela tinha um filho. Então, deixaram-na andar e foram, e foram andando até à cidade, onde havia muito barulho. E elas preferiam ter ficado na floresta. Nino, Nino, Nino! Depois, a, Mar a Mariana acordou e a avó apareceu no quarto e disse... Our study seems to support that designing systems with emotion can foster creativity, especially in play contexts and storytelling. Additionally, this study shows that children can use minimalistic shapes, such as cubes, to create complex stories. This shows that simplicity in the design can provide engagement and interest in children towards a more abstract play in which the characters were non-stereotyped. The data sets and supplementary materials of the study are released online and are in open access. You can find them in the link in the paper. Thank you so much for listening. We welcome any feedback via email.